Today, I want to take you inside one of the most misunderstood and quietly revolutionary parts of Aptera, the battery. On paper, it looks ordinary. In reality, it completely rewrites what we think an electric vehicle battery needs to be. And once you understand how this system works, it becomes very hard to look at traditional EVs the same way again. At the core of Aptera's launch edition sits a 44 kilowatt hour battery pack. That number alone doesn't sound impressive in a world where electric cars routinely carry 75, 90, or even 100 kilowatt hours of energy. But that's exactly the point. Aptera isn't trying to win by brute force. It's trying to win by intelligence. The cells inside this pack are 21700 cylindrical lithium-ion cells using NMC811 chemistry. The 21700 refers to their physical size, 21 millimeters in diameter and 70 millimeters long, the same format used in vehicles like the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. The chemistry, NMC811, means the cathode is composed of roughly 80% nickel, 10% manganese, and 10% cobalt. This mix is important because it delivers very high energy density while keeping costs and weight lower than older formulations. Energy density is everything when efficiency is the goal. Aptera doesn't want excess mass. Every extra pound demands more energy to move, which demands a larger battery, which adds even more weight. Instead of falling into that trap, Aptera chooses cells that store more energy per kilogram so the entire vehicle can stay exceptionally light. Inside the Launch Edition battery pack, more than 2,000 individual cells work together as a single system. They're arranged into modular sections rather than a single massive slab. That modularity allows Aptera to scale range without redesigning the entire vehicle. The same core structure supports different battery sizes simply by adding or removing modules. That modularity isn't theoretical. With six modules, the vehicle delivers roughly 44 kilowatt hours and targets about 400 miles of range. Add more modules and range scales upward. A larger configuration can reach roughly 600 miles. The most extreme setup pushes past 1,000 miles of estimated range. Instead of designing three different cars, Aptera designs one system that adapts. What makes this even more interesting is how the battery integrates into the vehicle itself. The pack doesn't just sit in the car, it is part of the structure. The bus bars and mounting architecture contribute to rigidity while reducing unnecessary material. This approach saves weight and improves efficiency without compromising safety. Thermal management is another area where Aptera quietly breaks convention. Rather than relying on bulky traditional radiators, cooling channels are integrated directly into the vehicle's body. Heat is distributed across the structure itself, turning the entire car into a thermal management system. It's lighter, simpler, and more efficient than conventional solutions, and it aligns perfectly with Aptera's philosophy of eliminating anything that doesn't directly contribute to efficiency. Power electronics are also integrated directly into the battery system. Instead of routing energy through long cable runs to separate control units, the electronics live where the energy originates. This reduces losses, improves packaging, and again saves weight, small gains that compound across the entire vehicle. Safety is built into the battery at the most fundamental level. Each cylindrical steel-cased cell is encased in steel, offering physical containment that pouch-style cells simply don't provide. The spacing between cells isn't wasted volume, it's carefully engineered to manage heat and isolate failures. If a single cell were to experience thermal runaway, the design limits the ability for that event to spread. This approach mirrors the philosophy used by manufacturers with strong safety records and avoids many of the pitfalls seen in earlier EV battery designs.
The real magic of Aptera's battery doesn't come from the cells alone. It comes from how little energy the vehicle needs in the first place. Aptera targets close to 10 miles per kilowatt hour under ideal conditions. Even conservative real-world estimates still land far above what today's most efficient electric cars achieve. To put that into perspective, many EVs deliver between 3 and 5 miles per kilowatt hour. Aptera is aiming for nearly double that. This means a 44 kilowatt hour battery can realistically support distances that usually require packs almost twice as large. In gasoline terms, the energy stored in that battery is roughly equivalent to about a gallon and a half of fuel. The idea that a vehicle could travel hundreds of miles on that amount of energy would have sounded absurd not long ago. This efficiency isn't the result of one breakthrough, it's the result of dozens of deliberate design choices working together. The vehicle weighs dramatically less than conventional electric cars. Its aerodynamic drag is astonishingly low. The narrow frontal area and three-wheel configuration reduce rolling resistance. Every watt saved means the battery can be smaller, lighter, and cheaper, which then saves even more energy. The feedback loop is relentless. Range discussions often generate skepticism, and understandably so. Aptera has discussed configurations ranging from around 250 miles all the way to 1,000 miles. The important thing to understand is that these figures are tied directly to battery size and efficiency, not marketing optimism. A smaller battery version makes sense for urban drivers who want fast charging, lower cost, and minimal environmental impact. Mid-range configurations enable long-distance travel without frequent stops. The largest pack exists not because it's necessary for most drivers, but because the platform can support it without compromising efficiency. Where Aptera truly separates itself is in how the battery works with solar energy. Integrated solar panels can deliver meaningful daily range under real-world conditions. Instead of being a novelty, the solar system feeds directly into the battery management system, adding energy throughout the day whenever sunlight is available. For many drivers, daily commuting could be handled almost entirely by the sun, with the battery acting as a buffer rather than a primary fuel source. This is why the battery doesn't need to be massive. When solar input offsets daily driving, the pack simply maintains equilibrium. Short trips become essentially free from the grid. Even longer trips benefit from passive charging whenever the vehicle is parked outdoors. Charging from the grid still matters, of course, and here again the smaller battery becomes an advantage. On level 2 charging, the vehicle can recover meaningful range quickly. Even standard household outlets can add substantial miles overnight. When DC fast charging is used, the relatively small capacity means shorter sessions compared to large battery EVs charging at the same power levels. Concerns about battery fires often surface in any EV discussion, but cylindrical steel-cased cells have a long track record. Statistically, electric vehicles experience fires far less frequently than gasoline vehicles when measured per mile driven. Aptera's format, spacing, and thermal management further reduce risk, making catastrophic failures unlikely under normal conditions. From a production standpoint, the battery design has moved beyond concept, production intent packs exist, suppliers are contracted, the cell technology itself is proven at scale. What remains is the challenge every startup faces, executing manufacturing at volume. The battery isn't the weak link, if anything, it's one of the most mature and well-validated components of the entire vehicle. Looking ahead, the modular architecture opens the door to future battery chemistries. As energy density improves over time, the same physical space could hold significantly more energy without increasing weight. A future version of the vehicle could gain hundreds of miles of additional range without altering its structure. The battery management system is designed with this evolution in mind, allowing Aptera to benefit from industry advances rather than being locked into a single generation of technology.
When compared to other electric vehicles, the contrast is stark. Many competitors rely on ever larger battery packs to compensate for inefficiency. Aptera flips that equation. By minimizing energy consumption, it reduces cost, charging time, environmental impact, and material use all at once. It's not an incremental improvement, it's a fundamentally different strategy. That environmental impact matters more than most people realize. Battery production carries a significant carbon footprint. Using fewer kilowatt hours per vehicle means less mining, less processing, and less embedded emissions before the car even moves. Combined with solar charging, the lifetime footprint of the vehicle drops even further. For everyday drivers, this approach changes what ownership looks like. Short commutes may require no plugging in at all. Long trips become easier because charging stops are shorter and less frequent. Maintenance remains minimal because the system is simple and integrated rather than overbuilt. At its core, the battery inside Aptera is not impressive because it's large or exotic. It's impressive because